What's up, what's going on? Good morning, your faces, and welcome back to a brand new day and a brand new video. The time right now is two minutes to five in the a.m. and we're about to leave the house. You know it's early guys when it's still night time and it's still, I'm sorry, but it's literally pitch black outside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start my journey with Monica down south and I will resume the vlog once daylight commences. Ladies and gentlemen, four hours and 37 minutes after we set off from Monica's house, we have made it to, I mean, we've not made it, we've made it to London. We're currently sat in the London traffic. We've got about two miles to go which also transpires is about 20 minutes. And we could actually do this quicker. Oh, where? Monica's getting stressed out. Um, it's on red. We walk. Um, it, we could actually do this quicker right now on our bikes. We might be able to actually to do it. Yeah, we could walk it quicker. We could walk it quicker. Um, so I did the first half of the drive because mom was still half asleep when we set off at five o'clock this morning. And I, uh, and, and now she's doing the second half, which is also the most stressful part, so. Unlucky Kentucky Fried Chicken Rubber Ducky. Anyway, we're heading to Islington in London. For those of you that know London, it's on the north side of the river, I think. Uh, I don't really know London. We're going left there, check. Yeah. I don't really know London, but I know we're going to Islington. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully Chris, Chris, you know, you all know Chris. He's going to be there as well. And I think he got there about an hour ago. He set up. He made... We're actually going to be about 40 minutes late, guys. Um, I didn't kind of anticipate how bad London rush hour traffic would be. Chris did. He's much sensible, much more sensible and much smarter than we are. Um, so he sets off at like four o'clock from his house in, in Derbyshire. But he's here and we're not, and we're late, so yeah. How are you enjoying your London driving experience? I hate it, never live here, <laughs> never. But some people don't have a choice. No, yeah you do, everyone has a choice in life. Don't say that, it's really bad, everyone has a choice. <laughs> I would never live in London. These are nice houses though. Yeah, they are nice houses and, it, and, and I imagine it's very expensive to live here. But I've just got as stressful as I would in about a week at home in about five minutes sat in the car, so no, don't yeah. like it. It is very stressful. I mean, at the minute there's no traffic, there's not much traffic, but we've just been sat in traffic for like an hour solid. Thankfully though, rush hour is now finishing, it is 9.40. All right, park the car up. Now we're trying to find the studio and cross some roads. Actually, maybe we should press the light, press the button. Please stop, let us go. Thank you. Messi. Messi Boko. We're going down there and hopefully we're gonna find a modeling studio. Woohoo! You're gonna to have to explain to them why we're late. And we're say explain to them why we're in a modeling studio. Right. <laughs> from the wrong people. Yeah, I know. Uh is it on here? I don't know. Look who it is! Sorry we're late. Blame blame the driver. Blame right. the driver. We're only, what, 50 minutes late? Your shoes. Oh, look at that lighting. Look at that. Mate, hurry up, come and do my hair and makeup. Okay. I, need a lot of I need a lot of work doing this, this morning. It's not looking great right now. <laughs> 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 All right, today, guys, we're in London. We're at a studio in, uh, in London with a certain company called You've heard of these guys. I mean, I don't, they don't need any introduction. We've got we've got a load of Wahoo kit. We've got some Lacole kit. We've even got some salted peanuts. Sick. But today, guys, Wahoo are doing a little bit of a photo shoot down here um, for like their 2020 collection, I think. I'm not too sure exactly what we're taking photos for. Maybe I should know that. Me and Chris both got invited down to be part of the shoot. And uh, they've also got the brand new Wahoo Kicker bike. You might have seen like the press release and stuff. I'm going to post a picture here if you haven't. Uh, they've also got one of those here, so we're going to take a quick ride on that, get on Zwift, and uh, kind of give my, my my first impressions and my first sort of thoughts and feelings um, over on Chris's channel for that. So it should be a pretty sick day. We're, that. we're down here for two days, uh, so let's keep things moving and let's crack on. All right, Mon is currently getting her photos taken. Give us a smile, Mon. Smile. Smile. <laughs> so whilst Mon's getting her photo taken over there, we have got the Wahoo Kicker bike over here and we're gonna do a little bit of a segment for your show aren't we mate yes mate we're doing it if i don't just destroy the whole thing oops yep that's going back in yep hey we're doing a cpcn special on this the brand new wahoo <laughs> transition <laughs> i'm gonna be my model for it it looks it look it does look pretty interesting to be fair it looks like something from the future 
there's a lot less of it than I thought there was going to be. Yeah, it's quite stripped back, yeah, isn't it? It's very, it's very, very bougie. Very what? Bougie. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I just said. Sorry. What are you eating? Oh, you're welcome. It looks so like down. <laughs> Peanuts. I'm being crushed. I'm being crushed. Help. Oh, look, I've got boob, back boob fat. Mm -hmm. No. Go do it. Oh. That's not fat. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah, you? Yeah, you, you hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. <gasps> Long days, these shoot days. Behind the scenes, a little Wahoo photo shoot. We're getting the shot set up. We're going for about 30 minutes. <laughs> Let's get one shot. <laughs> That's what it takes, man. There's Tim just stood on his phone doing nothing. Standard. Some things never change. There's Chris. Oh, get away, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has been on there for two hours. He's trying to find some leg definition. So when he's on in front of the camera, he looks good. He's got he's more sweaty. than me. You see the amount of sweat <laughs> beneath him, man. <laughs> he actually got some leg definition. Yeah. Get across oh, it smells like coconut. You haven't shaved the top of your leg. It smells good. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, what are you actually yeah, doing? Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what? What have no, you done? No, Why does it no, smell? No, I just, so hang on, do you, do you manicure anywhere else above that? No, it's just a bit of fake tan. <laughs> you put fake tan on your legs. Oh, Why? It smells like coconut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Look at yours. <laughs> That's quality. Chris has put fake tan on his legs. <laughs> Yeah. Black. <laughs> Mate, what do you make to this Le Col kit? It's pretty Love nice, it. isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. I've never used Le Col kit before, but it's... Uh... Well, I said that earlier, I've never used it. It's nice though. It feels a bit thick though. I worry if I was riding with yeah. this indoors. Thick? But, yeah, it might it might get a bit too warm too quick. I think they do do a thinner jersey though, like the hill climb jersey. Oh, right, okay. I think this I is the pro jersey. I'm not really sure, but either way, I like it's a, it's a nice material. I like the, uh, the golden. Yeah. yeah. The golden yeah. logo and the golden zip. Makes us look important. And rich. We look like a team. Go team. Go, Go team. team. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here too long, mate. <laughs> it's three o'clock, we haven't had lunch yet. I don't even have my pizza taken yet. <laughs> mate, say that again. <laughs> the order for lunch is so big, it's coming on three, mate. What have we ordered? A lot of pizza. <laughs> pizza sounds good, though. Oh, oh yes, yes, pizza. yes, well, we yes, here, yes. <laughs> All right, so whilst the photo shoot's going on over there, we've got a little bit of free time with this bike. So what we're doing right now, guys, is we're Show filming. Shoes, governor. Shoes are nice and clean now. Good, Anything good. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, it's my bum. No, so... <laughs> <laughs> so we're filming a little bit of a first look, kind of initial thought slash, re not review, but first, first look, first impressions of the new brand new Wahoo Kicker bike and I believe there's like less than eight of these in the country so yeah I'm gonna put the link to Chris's video in in the description down below where we're gonna talk about it go over show him some love give him a like give him a subscribe and have a watch of the video and let us know what you think in the comments below thanks guys <laughs> anyway what do you reckon to our set got a lovely little cactus and traffic lights a clock an old car and a sexy an eliminated eliminated sexy sign that is the most random thing I think I've ever seen. It's amazing what you find in a in a in a photo shoot set. <laughs> yeah, even a rare Chris Pritchard. So I don't want to talk about the features of this bike in in my video. You got to stay go and check out Chris's for that. But what I do want to show you right is probably the coolest thing about this. You can go to minus thirteen degrees all the way back to. Wait for it. No, it's like a roller coaster. It's honestly like a roller coaster. Twenty degrees. I feel like I'm gonna fall off the back of it. <laughs> it's kind of a weird inertia when you're pedaling, like stood up like this, because obviously you've not got a front wheel. But I still feel pretty safe. Although part of me does think I'm just gonna like fall forward, but I mean, it hasn't, hasn't happened yet. And I've done 56 minutes, according to this. Two different ways you can operate this climb. You can either A, connect it to Zwift, so as the resistance changes on Zwift, the bike automatically changes. Or option B, you can unlock it and then you do it manually with your hand. I reckon I'll do it manually and just keep it at 0%. Just 
than the Hillsfield flat. All right, that is a wrap on day one. Good day? Good day? Yeah. Good day? Yeah. How much of it, how much of it did you sleep, Monica? No. You've been sleeping? No, I'm not even Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Give me Mate, that. she was only asleep for a good hour. Leave, no, leave her alone. No, it wasn't an hour. It was. it was. It was about an hour. No, it wasn't. It was. No, it wasn't. You were about for about an hour. There? Yeah, you were asleep for an hour. No, I wasn't. I yeah. wasn't. <laughs> you're, supposed to, you're supposed to be working. I wasn't asleep for an hour. Get away. <laughs> so the time is now 10 past 6. We spent our whole day since about half past 9 in those studios today taking pictures like these the things with the thing with the the thing with these photo shoots are from like the ones i've been part of anyway you spend like the whole day getting shots and changing the sets and stuff and i mean today in the i don't know eight hours we were there we probably told we probably got about 10 good photos um, but now we're leaving we're back in the car and we're gonna go and try and find our airbnb because we're staying for another day here in the london ting this is our little airbnb ting for tonight not bad, we got a nice little balcony. Down on London, we get to watch all the people. Him riding his bike, yeah, sick. Tim, I am living life on the edge, mate, right now. Yeah, please go. <laughs> I don't want to have to explain to your family. <laughs> mate, this is not bad. Nice. Sick, little, sick little London pad for, the, for tonight. We can see what everyone else is up to. Look at this guy, he's just uh, chilling on his on his computer. Got a, you can see everyone down there. Excuse is getting money out from the bank. Not a bad little place to stay for the night. But anyway guys, we're gonna get changed and we're gonna head out for some dinner right now. Spot the northerner in the yeah. south. Double figures and the shorts come out. Do you wanna know why I'm wearing the shorts? Why? Because I just, I didn't have any jeans that were cleaned and the only jeans that I've got are some new ones that I bought. And because I've not been training, they don't I'm fit a you. Bit too big for me. Oh mate. So I was like, I feel I your these fit. I know these fit a treat, so that was it. I feel your issue. I feel yeah. your issue. Anyway, speaking of uh, putting on weight, we're in central London and that means food isn't very hard to find. So we're just gonna head out and pretty much find the first place. We're gonna eat at the first place we come across. No we're not. We're not? No, we, we know exactly where we're going. Yeah, so I guess it will be the first place really. The old Queen Z. Absolutely fine English establishment. Bloody lovely. That's day one done and dusted. It's, as you can tell, it's now the following morning. We're still in London. We're here for day number two of the Wahoo shoot. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video, guys. And thank you for watching today's. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. It helps out massively with the channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at the same usual time of 5 p.m. Because you won't fit, I throw a fit, and I leave you alone.